In the last video, we had a look at adapting a component's styles based on props. In this video, let's look at extending styles. When creating components, you're often going to come across a scenario where you might want to reuse most of the styles from an existing component and change just one or two CSS properties. Adapting based on props is one way to do that, but at times, it might lead to more conditional checks and branching than you would like. Not to mention the amount of props you would need to keep track of. As an alternative, styled components lets you extend an existing component's styles. In this video, let's see how it works. For our example, let's say we need to create a fancy button for the landing page in our application. It is a one-off situation and is something we wouldn't be using in other pages. For our fancy button, we want most of the styling of the regular button except for the color. We want that to be a gradient to make it look fancy. In button.styles.js, let's define the styled fancy button component. So export const fancy button and this is equal to the styled function. If you look at line three, we used styled function with a button element. Well, as it turns out, we can also pass in other React components. Since we want to extend the styled button, we pass that into the styled function, but this time with parentheses. So styled, we pass in styled button. We then use template literals again and specify any styles we want to. For this example, I'm going to specify a linear gradient as the background image. So background image is going to be a linear gradient. And the gradient is to right. And we're going to specify two colors. We're also going to set border to none. Now we can import the component in button.js and export it. So import styled button comma fancy button. We're going to export fancy button. In app.js, we can import the component and invoke it. So import styled button comma fancy button from components slash button slash button. And in the JSX, we can include fancy button and the text is going to be fancy button. If you save the file and head to the browser, you can see our fancy button renders as expected. Now, another cool feature that styled components library offers is the ability to provide a polymorphic prop. On the fancy button component, we can specify as is equal to anchor tag. And if we head to the browser and inspect this element, you can see that it is in fact an anchor tag. The first two are buttons, whereas the third one is an anchor tag. Possible with this as polymorphic prop. A very handy feature if you ask me. In the next video, let's take a look at pseudo selectors.